Lesson 4 of the Complete Go course. In this lesson, I will explain you how to declare and use variables in Go. Let's see what we are going to learn. We are going to see how to declare variables. We are going to understand how to initialize variables. We are going also to see how to declare constants and how to avoid error when you declare variables in Go. Let's start to understand how to declare and use variables in Go. There are different ways to declare a variable and I'm going to explain you each of them and then you will choose the best one that you prefer. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code but you can also use the Go Playground if you like. To declare a variable you need to use the var keyword followed by the name of the variable and the type of the variable. In this example I'm declaring a variable of name title of type string. I will talk to you about data types in the following lessons, don't worry. And after that, I'm printing the variable title. This example shows you the most basic way to declare a variable. If you want to declare another variable, you simply add a similar statement to the previous one but you can declare more than one variable in a single line if the second variable has the same data type of the first one. You can do it by adding a comma after the first variable, like this. We are saying that you're about to declare another variable with the same type string of the first variable. If you want to declare a third variable, like the pages variable, and this variable doesn't have the same data type of the two previous variables, title and author, you have to declare inside a new line. Another way to write the previous statement is by using the parentheses after the var keyword. It seems like we are declaring a dedicated block only for the variable. Until now, we have only declared variable but right now is the time to assign a value to all those variables. In Go, you can initialize variables in different ways. The basic way is to declare the name of the variable, the type of the variable, equal, and then assign a value. So in this example, I'm assigning a value for the variable title of type string, and I'm putting the value the fellowship of the ring. And same things for the variable author of type string with the value Tolkien. And last but not least, the variable pages of type int with the value 420. In Go, if you decide to initialize a variable, you don't need to specify the type like string and int because Go will understand the type of the variable based on the value that you assign to that variable. In this case, I can remove the type string for the title author and int for pages and Go will understand based on the value that I put for the title, for the author and for the pages, which is the type of these three variables. As we can understand, in Go you can declare and initialize variables in a single line. You need to separate each variable name with a comma and do the same for every value, in the same order. The order is important. In this example here, we can understand that order is important because for the title, I want to assign the value the fellowship of the ring, then comma, the, for the author the value Tolkien, then comma, and then for the variable pages, the value 420. Go will understand the type of title, author and pages variables based on the value that we assign to that variable and because of that, the order is important. There is another way we can declare and initialize variables. This method is the most common way to do so in Go. Here I put the same example to declare titles, author and pages, but in a different way. You need to notice that we need to include a colon equal sign 
and then its corresponding value right after you define the variable name. When you use the column equal sign, the variable that we are declaring, in this case title, author and pages, has to be a new one. If you use a column equal sign and the variable has been declared already, the program won't compile. In another important thing, we can use the column sign only inside a function. When we declare variables outside a function, we must use the var keyword. We will see the final example later in this lesson. In these two lines, I'm declaring two new variables, title and author, and I'm assigning a value to them. And remember that also here the order is important. In the same way, I'm declaring a new variable pages, assign the value 420. If we need to have a static values inside the code, we can use the constants. Of course, Go supports the use of constants. We need to use a different keyword, not the var, but const, to declare a constant in Go. In this line, I'm declaring a new constant with the name HTTP status OK and the value 200. It's a constant because the value will never change. The value of the status OK is always 200. Also with the constants, we don't need to specify the type because Go will infer based on the value assigned. In this case, Go will understand that the constant HTTP status OK is an integer type because I assign the value 200. When we use the constant in Go, a best practice is to write the name in camel case or upper case. If we need to declare multiple constants in one block, we can do it like this. Put in the keyword const, the parentheses, and then all the constants that we want to declare. There are similarities between constants and variables, but also some key differences. For example, we can declare constants without using them. We won't get an error message from Go. It's not the case for the variables, because if you declare a variable, but if you don't use that variable, Go will complain. But for the constants, we cannot use the column equal sign that we saw previously. Go will complain for it. Another important thing that I want to ally is the fact that we have to remember that Go throws an error if we declare a variable and don't use it. I repeat. Go throws an error, not a warning, an error if we declare a variable and we don't use it. For example, let's take a look at this code. I declare three different variables, title, author, and pages, and I'm just printing in the console the title and author, but not pages. I declare the variable pages with the value 420, but I'm not using it. So let's see how Go will complain. Let's open the terminal. And let's run the project. Go run main.go. See, Go is complaining with an error message saying that in the file main.go, this file here, on the line 8, the pages variable has been declared but not used. Also, Visual Studio Code can help us to understand if a variable has been declared but not used. If I go on the mouse over on the pages variable, I can see the same error. Pages declared but not used. This helps us to avoid error in Go. Keep in mind that for every variable you declare in Go, you must use it in your code. Let's put everything together. Let's create two different variables of type string that represent the first name and the last name and then declare a constant gender. Let's start with the first name. First name, column sign, and then John. I'm declaring it's aligned the variable in the same time. Then I'm going to declare the last name. In this case, I'm going to declare the variable first of type string, and then I'm going to initialize the variable last name, Bolton. Visual Studio Code highlight the fact that the two variables that I declare first name and last name are not using yet. So I'm going to use it. I'm going just to print it here. Just first name, last name. And then I'm going to declare a constant. Constant. And then gender. 
going to put the value m in this case because i declaring a constant not a variable even if i'm not using the gender constant go and in this case also visual studio code will not complain about it let's now run the project go run main.go and we can see the first name and the last name i can even do a quick refactor declaring in this way first name and last name bolton let's run it again go run main dot go perfect still working let's recap what you learned in this lesson about the variables in go we saw how to declare variables in different ways how to initialize the variables we can also learn how to declare constants in go and which are the difference between constants and variables and also how to avoid error when we declare variable thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new video that i will upload and see you in the next lesson bye